next we define next we, after we defined all our arrays and the functions that can fill it <coughs> now we need to define a public function it will be static too and your name will be route and it will take two arguments the first argument is the method method and the second is the path this method will be the responsible of executing our program and check all the URL stored in our array and see if there are any matches they will execute the handler function so if for example if we go to our website and we have already registered a URL name for example home and the URL was home and in the, our for example in this request it is a get request and it will be stored in the get the get route so the route the route method will execute the handler of this function that we have a, a home, pa home path and a get route so that is the two params that we need so the first thing is we have to store the routes that we will match in an array and we will determine which routes array to use based on the http request so we will do a switch case we we'll use a switch methods and case of gets the routes will be equal to cell get routes and we will do some breaking and the same for the for the get the post the puts and delete and we need to change those post put routes and delete routes after that we will iterate through the routes array and attempt to match request path to a route path so we will do what is this uh, we, we don't need this condition now we do just a for each in our routes array as routes and we will define a pattern a pattern is to replace the backslash with something like that because the the portion and the pragmatic don't know a slash but you need to add a backslash for to be sure and that is the variable that we change so in this line we say to the route okay home slash index if we find something like this the result will be a home backslash slash and in there he he will it will add a backslash after every slash the next thing we need is the pattern so break replace break replace break replace we replace every slash backslash and like the a backslash and double plus slash and backslash 
Right, so obviously look good there. And which let me copy this line. I have already developed. Okay. Let me copy this line. I I will explain it now. So in this line, for example, we usually we have working on a dashboard or a conversation or something that take arguments in the URL. For example, if we say student and student student and I want to show the student number five, you can do something like this. But in route, what's the he, he should understand? He should understand that this five is a variable it can be six like it can be eight and in the same time it should be redirect with the name and id and the variable so for that we make this pretty much to if to tell them if for example if you find something like that uh, something similar that will be an array so you will if you find a matches and uh, knowing that this is an array so it can change like six four five hundred two hundred one million it doesn't make sense so to don't make a equal equal equation we need to find the sprig match and and it will be something like that and the last thing before make our condition is to indicate where the pattern starts and where it ends so now we can do make our condition that break match and we we'll use the pattern and the path and if you find any matches like we said id or any variable we will store it in this array So if you find anything of that or you find a match between the URL and the request and the route array so we stored in, in the index uh, array search you, you will search for the routes and matches and the function handler it will be this route to be equal to this route we indicate by index because we already get her index and we have in arguments the handler function the handler function is that it will, it will find that and it will search for the handler I it, it will recover this function and it will return the handler the function handler with the matches that we found and we will do a break for the for each and the last thing is to check if there is no route matches we will return a four zero four error. So we will check if the path is different. The app slash URL dot miscellaneous miscellaneous slash four zero four. Oh no, something like that. Two of two why i did this equation i did this test so like i said why i did that because if for example if i did go from the 44 page and i haven't already this page public public is required and 44 for example like that if i don't have this page it will uh, you will display the same error 44 44 44 44 if you redirect redirect in the same time 
because here uh, I will show you what I have in mind so when something it seems like that is the path is if he, he doesn't find any matches or oh, it will return a 44 error so for return a 44 error we need to redirect redirect to this page so every time if he will redirect to this page this page must be one if it must be not the same page for example if i go to the 404 error page i and he doesn't find this page or any route for her and i haven't set as a developer so it will not need to redirect another time because i have already on this page another thing is that redirect i have i don't have this function already developed so let's go and develop this function so let's go to the functions and open the php tag and declare a function named redirect and take in arguments the path and we will redirect header location and we will concatenate with the up url plus a slash plus the path that we need to redirect and add that so if we want for example to redirect to this link like we say it we have something like that we'll have a link or something like that i should remove this remove this and this and this will be our up url our up url if we go to our config the up url is this and that's what he, he would should like it will be like this and this will be the link of our 404 and re our redirect page 